Good morning, everybody. I am here with Peter Maas from Germany. Many of you will know Data. I've met him somewhere along the line. Um, and I am excited to have you here with me this morning. Good morning, Dita. <clears throat> Thank you, Sylvia. Good morning and good morning, everybody who is watching this. Yeah, now and in the future, in the archives, 10,000 years from now, it'll be, you know, people sitting there going, wow, look at that, that's Sylvia Hartman and Dita Mars. <laughs> 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 I like thinking like that sometimes, you know. Uh, okay, so we are, I had the idea the other day to um, have a chat with Dieter about something from modern energy art, which is called the click. Now, the click is a way in which we feel in the body to know what's right and what's wrong. And it gives us feedback to... Hmm, create art, we could say. So I've, I've uh, just to, to mm, illustrate that a little bit. So what, what, one of the things we do in modern energy art is we let our hands just make a symbol in response to a setup, such as give me something that makes me feel a little bit happier today. And then we'll let the hand draw the line da, 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 like that. And then we end up with a line and then we color that in where these cross they create these sort of spaces and then we use our literally our sixth sense there's a sixth sense exercise they say what color should that be and of course consciously you can't know that you, have, you know you can't know that this is a different language it's not spoken language it's not the language of the conscious mind it's the language of a different part of our totality but it's interesting because if this, this, this space here is yellow, but if I try to paint that red, I would get a physical uh, sensation. No, no, what are you thinking? Are you insane? You can't, you can't paint that red. You can really feel that. And the closer you get to it, it's the color that it's supposed to be. Well, should it be blue? No. Orange, mm, yellow, yes. And when you get the right shade of yellow, what happens is that we call the click. It's a real energy sensation. A real, yes. A real, whoo, that's it. And it makes you tingle and it really raises energy. It's, it's fascinating. And it's super reliable, you know. It is super reliable. And it's a fantastic way of allowing people to learn that there is a feedback mechanism that knows and at the end of the day you end up with an object like this where the colors magically somehow come together they match and you know it has this, this energy existence and people who work with energy they can take that energy and do something with it and it's a happy friendly positive object that arrives this one's mm -hmm. called Getting in the groove. The groove. The groove. I'm trying to find my groove on YouTube. And I thought a little symbol painting could help me there. Okay, so yeah, that's the basic introduction. And I'm going to pass you over to Dita. You can just talk. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm, I have been into this, doing this, uh, something with this uh, pattern, with this... Um, symbol painting pattern and also using the click for me it, it hasn't been so easy uh, to learn this but i had uh, participated in a course with sylvia about modern energy art last year i think until summer last year mm -hmm. and and i made it my um, intention my goal really to learn this in a kind of for me solid uh non fuzzy clear way you know, to have a kind of a sensation as clear as sylvia uh, described it like uh, i wouldn't 
I'm not like this dramatic, no, like that I get like if it's a wrong color <laughs> that I would freak out <laughs> with it, but some kind in my way to have like clear signals that I can perceive and which also work in a kind of a noisy situation as it's always noisy in some way. So I wanted to practice this really. And um, and recently I've done some project with this about pro problems that I have, which are in inherently noisy and stressful. And um, I did some really kind of marathon <laughs> symbol paintings, which were like in in several ways amazing, uh, like okay. the whole experience of it, and um, that kind of created like as I feel it is like a strong um, pathway, a, a working connection to this, which is not for me not always easy. <laughs> it doesn't take like only one time to practice this, but I need to kind of. Uh, continue with it through all kinds of different states and phases and uh, things happening on the side and uh, <clears throat> something uh, very intense and amazing happened along this oh. uh, last experience. That's really wonderful. I mean, um, <clears throat> one of the things that I love about the symbol paintings is that it gives you a long time to work with a problem that you have. You know, I've got, I mean, even this little one here, even this little one, that there's, there's at least, what, three, four hours in it of actually engaging with that problem of not having found my groove on YouTube and how to find a solution for that. That's a long time to to that's that's at least what well, is that three hours? That's at least four full length therapy sessions at 150 mm -hmm. euros each, you know. And how how often do we actually spend that long really focusing down on a personal problem that we want to bring forward, that we want to create an evolution for this, you know, mm -hmm. to, to break out of the stalemate that has somehow happened with that problem and this is a little painting i mean you go to the next one the next size up which would be like this there's hours in this there's what eight ten hours in this of really really engaging with a solution for your problems it's very rare and a very rare opportunity to let the parts of us that don't speak come mm. out so tell us about your 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 experience. What was the problem? That was let's start with that. <clears throat> like the experience that I like refer to is um, uh, ended up resulted in this painting, mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> it's about like um, like a terrifying um, reaction that I like for a long time, for decades, have with certain um, bureaucratic like paperwork, especially in a like financially tense situation and uh, many experiences along that. Now also a very, um, like a, a way to deal with this stuff in a civilized <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> I like that expression. I mean, it, it, some might think, well, that's impossible. How can you possibly deal with taxes and, and, and bureaucracy in a civilized way? You know, it's, it's, but yeah, I mean, we can just ask for a solution for forward movement and find out what happens next. So, yeah. What happened next? What happened next? Like uh, this was uh, there was an occasion. There was a, like um, something going on with this stuff. Like my whole situation moving towards a certain uh, transition. Mm -hmm. 
like lots of um, where which involved application forms for two pension plans and um, <clears throat> Uh, health insurance negotiations <laughs> and, and all of this keep talking, dear. and and also my whole financial situation kind of shrinking into uh, my microscopic proportions <laughs> and uh, oh. and also, so this was some kind of a like a transition phase no that I'm still in but it kind of has uh, elegantly resolved so, as oh, it seems. Nice. I can't still can't believe it but it seems, <laughs> it seems like that it's there was magic. no there was not none of these heavy concrete blocks uh, showing up in my energy system anymore and I attribute this to working for like six weeks, two months, I think, on this thing. Yep. Uh, and in a very patient way. And in between, I've I had the feeling I was sitting here, uh, sometimes nothing else to do for the whole day. Um, and I was working patiently on these little fields of color that I had uh, like this this symbol line, this energy line that is like the kind of map for the whole thing. I had done that at the beginning of these, this whole time. And, um, and then I just followed this process of finding these colors for like several hundreds of uh, those uh, color fields. And for each of them, I did this um, process that I did do with finding the right color, the, mm -hmm. the, having this experience of the click. And sometimes the, the color spec is just like a little uh, two millimeters or one millimeter thing. <laughs> but still, I do the whole, did the whole thing for, for it. No? And... Um, mm -hmm. As if I had eternal time, I felt like I'm a, in a monastery somewhere where you just have this job and you can um, <clears throat> put the whole, your whole importance, your whole attention into it. And while the world is going under and everything else is happening around, but you just focus on this. Uh, you're sitting somewhere in heaven <laughs> and you focus on eternally doing this <laughs> process and it really felt that kind of um, like an expansion of my concept of time as well cool. that I'm that I'm that I'm allowed to just do this <laughs> and and have this whole process sometimes very often I, I just it didn't like pop up like no color pop up popped up and and then I had to ask which color and uh, and then the first color was black mm. <laughs> that's like a typical answer mm. <laughs> or um, or like a, a, a light green mm. yeah or yeah. <laughs> or like how about about violet violet uh, violet mm -hmm. <laughs> like some, some in this way i'm like uh, and then i would even if i'm too frazzled and then i would even pen them down write them down the difference and then get actual energy levels for each of them and um uh, and then sometimes if it takes long, it takes 10 different colors to actually find something that is really in the positive. And, um, and that's how I get to these results. Mm. And sometimes it's really long winded, tedious, but I did it. <laughs> like with, yeah. uh, God. I'm, I'm really excited because um, I went through this, I went through this myself. <clears throat> 
um, at the beginning, and I just did lots of them. Lots and lots and lots of them. And the process then becomes obviously quicker, faster, smoother. Every time you do a symbol painting, you learn something about it. Um, I learned very early on that this is a great way to get over color reversals. I always, I, I really don't like pink. I used to be forced as a child to be dressed in pink because I was a girl. But because of some kind of circumstance, I always end up looking like a pig when I wear pink. And it just, just isn't, it doesn't suit me. It just doesn't suit me as a color. And so I didn't like it. But the um, symbol painting demanded there be pink mm. in various shades, you know. So I kind of gotten over prejudices against colors as well, which was kind of really nice. And, and I, I found that very useful. But to me, it's wonderful because you are in that early exciting stage where you are learning to trust that there is a part of you that knows mm. exactly what should be in this construction that we are making, in, in this simple thing that we are mm. creating. There's a part of you that really knows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like in, and also like to kind of um, to remove everything else so that this part where I ha can have a feedback like that is um, and it's like remove it again and again so that it is openly accessible <laughs> keeps being accessible and I can use it consistently and it's mm -hmm. not like then comes all the other stuff again onto it you know, and um, you have a piece of sandwich on top of it or something <laughs> yeah like removing it again and like training myself like that in, mm. in the and way. and see <clears throat> the click is a is a life skill there's a life skill in the click like if you've got um a, a whole bunch of oranges in a supermarket and you're supposed to choose the right ones you can use the click for that once you know how it feels, how the eh, the eh, the <laughs> yay, that's the one, that's the one for you. This is a magic orange. If you eat that, your energy system will be, you know, delighted mm -hmm. to have it. It's it's just allows a new way of choosing things. Not yes. with the head. Not with these, all these things, all these layers of, oh, what will other people think? What have I heard on the news that said I should choose only little oranges? That mm -hmm. it, it's really a key way to let the parts of us speak that don't speak with a voice, I find. So, yeah, okay. So, they, they were you making this, uh, this symbol painting about bureaucracy flowing through bureaucracy with the ease of a salmon mm. yeah it's really also like what i found out what the effect of this of doing this actually like consistently is that what comes out as a result is really like a communication like it's not me <laughs> like it's not uh, coming from some conscious place but it's coming from from a surprising place mm. it's like when it all, all comes together <clears throat> then all of a sudden it kind of um, makes a whole like a whole impression yeah. and it's not like um, and it doesn't feel like uh, it's my personal expression or something but it's but it's um, it's an entity. It's like a um, someone else, <laughs> like some uh, some other, <laughs> like um, an alien encounter <laughs> that I. <laughs> yeah, I, I completely, I completely understand what you, what you're saying. You know, the alien is a very good uh, way of describing this. See, I think that our conscious mind doesn't quite understand how big we we people are 
it doesn't understand how many levels and layers there are to us and there there is more to us than just the conscious mind and the physical body there are other things there are these things in of us that know which color to put in those little boxes and who is that if it isn't us i just think our definition of of us is too small and that we get yes. activated bitter or other which seem like alien parts of ourselves but they're not aliens they're just you know, out of so, consciousness. so far unknown um, um, corners or areas in us which can be very surprising I find like what I like most is that I'm kind of doing something with myself and be surprised but what comes out Not like there's someone in there in me who I can communicate with like who is giving me something that I did not expect <laughs> and that you can trust them to create something amazing something surprising something beautiful something powerful mm -hmm. that has a real effect on you but even also on other people and see one of the reasons i i uh, asked you to for this chat today is at this time where you were making that symbol painting and posting it to the uh, mia group as it was progressing i had to go and go to a bureaucracy thing to apply for residency in the united kingdom and a biometric passport and this is to me a very very traumatic kind of idea to have my fingerprints taken and my picture taken and, and mm. you know just just hideous and it was also long travel involved which i'm not fond of but i did um, use your symbol painting to soothe parts of me that I didn't even know who they are or what's going on with that parts of the energy system and I found a real relief in doing emo with your symbol painting and it turned out that the whole thing went as swimmingly as it possibly could beautiful easy drive to London beautiful when we arrived we we're half an hour early person got me straight in there was no waiting at all um, the lady was delighted with all the paperwork I brought my purple work was perfect um, everything went just swimmingly and mm -hmm. just just danced out of there again back in the car homeward journey was perfect as well and I was like wow and I've been so worried about that. It really, I don't know. It's, we are energy workers here. We're not psychologists. We're dealing with the living energy body. And who, consciously, we just don't know what, what our living energy body actually needs. And I think that this, this exploration into just trusting our sixth sense for a change that you find in the symbol paintings it's, it's a great first step towards learning something about ourselves so, yes okay. also an, uh, another aspect with doing this with art so-called art <clears throat> even though i think it's like when i'm doing like this painting it's more like a piece of engineering in a way <laughs> <laughs> yes, <it is. laughs> Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I've been literally, this is what I do. I engineer personal development techniques. That is mm -hmm. exactly what I do. And they are engineered, German engineering. Yeah, Precision I get engineering. It. So uh, this is not a bad thing. I mean, there is so much bullshit about art and energy. You know, you need to come in there like Alexander with the sword and cut the Gordian knot mm. and say let's start yeah. with something simple that people can do but that's very structural 
yeah, and like that it becomes something useful in mm. a way. Like, like uh, sometimes I'm like when I'm seeing pe what people post as their art, it seems in a way uh, like another personality expression or something. Like they, it's them, uh, like uh, they post, express themselves like um, to be someone or something. But to me, this um, energy art, I can use it for something useful, like practical, like that mm. helps me. Yeah. Like it become like this thing is not just another me expression, how wonderful I am, but it's more, <laughs> but it's more, it's something, uh, it's something that works for me. Like it's yeah. um, more like an employee or something. <laughs> like, um, yeah, it's a point where this um, doing a magical, making a magical artifact or some, uh, yeah, some magic uh, gets an, a different meaning because it's this thing is doing something useful for me. It's mm -hmm. also pretty. It's also I like how it looks. It has mm -hmm. a nice feeling when I look at it. Mm -hmm. But it is so specific <laughs> that it helps me in a very practical, useful way. While I was working on it, I could also sense that the interaction with all the paperwork and all these things, and also when it was mentioned by someone that this has to be done, and also then uh, feeling going through the, the applications for these pension plans, it was, I had a lot more patience <laughs> for it. I didn't freak out every 10 minutes and like, <laughs> I could sit quietly. <laughs> that's a fantastic, I mean, that's a fantastic result. Um, I, I think it's an amazing result for, yeah. For in, and and we don't even know what this thing about bureaucracy, what that even means in the widest metaphorical sense. Yeah. You know, that's not just about filling out paperwork. When I um, emote your not quite finished version of this, I really got a sense that this was much bigger than just filling in tax returns or biometric mm. passports that this this thing that we were having a problem with in our own various ways was a problem with something much bigger than just filling in tax returns and yeah that it really wanted some forward movement some healing some 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 adjustment some adjustment mm. somewhere and it's great that um we can bring and I, I love this that we can make this setup. Yeah, this I guess this is the whole thing. So we're not just randomly throwing, uh, you know, paint at the wall and hoping something will stick, and mm -hmm. ending up with this. What I always call this is an answer to the, where the question has been lost. You know, when mm -hmm. when we actually put this setup on it, whatever it is, like like my little one here. Okay, so my setup is get me in the groove. So I write it on there. And that helps me then also when I come back to it after a disturbance or disruption to go back to it. And this, what was this about? Oh, yeah, I want to get in the groove. I want to get in the groove. And there the process then runs forward from there, a fresh which is so great because I know a lot of artists who actually they have arguments on a, on a one canvas. You know, they come in there as one aspect, as a happy aspect one morning, the next mo the day they come in and they're a bit depressed. So they're like, they don't like what the aspect did yesterday. <laughs> you know, oh, sunny yellow shit. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to. And then the next day, they if they are, I don't know, just, just, really firebrand because they just saw something on social media and they're like oh what were they thinking of doing that black it should be fiery <laughs> red and it mm. actually happens with people on on you know large projects and ends up making a really confused project 
but this thing is a it's just a statement it's like yeah there you go mm. and yeah. i love that i love that about it i love it you know mm. i want to do a yeah. i want to do a massive one yeah and i've i've recently i uh, like in uh in the emo emo also also has a, a energy art uh unit yeah. in it it is i and stuck it I, in there they didn't want it but i stuck it in there because people don't realize just how important art is to a human mm -hmm. being's well-being so i and stuck it in there. the yeah. combination especially the combination uh with emo like coming from energy dancing into this like uh, into doing the energy line that taught me something like oh, cool. i have like my special client uh, that i'm doing this with which gives me like an increased exponential um, possibility to learn something also myself with especially there's just the room there there's space for this and so I learned something special with this thing that I ha have done in our la last emo session. Um, and, and the thing was like uh, something about the symbol of the symbol painting, how this can really become a symbol which is recognizable, which has a certain uh, gestalt or a certain uh, character and uh, what came out was this symbol <laughs> okay it's like and uh, it, it and it also has a topic and the setup and i have mm -hmm. several versions of this they all ha have this kind of uh, this figure and it's it's about two little boys my my connection to two little boys that sometimes show up here no so that i can connect with them no? something that makes it possible for me to connect with them and uh, i like that that uh, i could do a symbol really with the symbol painting that i can recognize as a symbol and <clears throat> like the colors are not really that nice as they are in real life but i learned well, something with this <clears throat> see i believe that if you're engaging with uh, any topic in this way you can't help but learn something about yourself and about the world and about energy about yeah. everything you know it, it's just <clears throat> and as you say it, especially in this day and age to have this near monastic experience of entering into this other place where you actually have that space to think about something or feel about something or evolve a topic or explore yourself you know this is a very 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 beneficial it's very beneficial and you end up yeah. with, i also i'm quite interested that you're saying a recognizable symbol is emerging at some point we got the symbol hybrids and i'm sitting sitting in front of one here this is a painter's palette mm. this is a recognizable thing for the conscious mind the conscious mind can say oh yeah that's a that's a painter's palette there's something to hold on to whereas if we have one of these here the mm -hmm. conscious mind just doesn't understand this and then some yeah. people will turn to cloud watching, what I call cloud watching, and go, mm -hmm. oh, that looks like a stork, and that looks like an elephant, and that looks like a... And I'm like, no, this is none of those things. This is much more abstract. Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, well, there's there's lots of things that you can do with that. Here, on the end there, there's look sticking out one. You can put a word in the middle. And that's I can't get that out because I'll call, cause, cause catastrophe. But that word is hope. <laughs> mm. you know? And so you are also now getting to that place where you feel ready to let the conscious mind back in on the game. Uh, yes. Like, uh, at some point, I had to make a decision. Like there was something missing, something to contain this form. And... <laughs> and uh, 
and these five uh, conscious symbols yeah. came came out. Yes. And I just At some it. point, the conscious mind wants back in the game, wants to mm -hmm. be a part of it, wants to. <clears throat> it also has the huge advantage that when you are showing this to someone, like that uh, pa painter's palette behind me, it makes sense to everyone, and it causes them to be like. Oh yes, I understand what that is. Well, hey, woohoo! I'm I'm all happy to have that here. Whereas these ones, and even more so the one that you made for 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 the uh, you know for the taxes and uh, yeah that one, people are like, oh my god, what is that? You know, I don't know what to do with that consciously. I I don't know how to deal with that. And that's where we come into the class. <laughs> Of course, we can turn them through all orientations, and they don't do that too fast because some people, some people will probably get and have a fit. <laughs> it just turns <laughs> slowly, you know, with those. And there's where people then come. Oh, that looks like a bean sprout, or that looks like a volcano, or just for the con as a conscious mind is desperately trying to grab onto it. Shall we tell our viewers how we're supposed to deal with those things? what we are supposed to do with a pure symbol painting or any work of art. What yeah. we can do with it, uh, meaning to emo it, to take yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. For what it is, like a source of energy. It can yeah. be very complex energy, but that we can take this in as energy. And right. we don't could you, could have to do it with, your, with the... Uh, in four minutes? Right, okay, so what we do in modern energy is we say, if you're just focusing on Dieter's picture, where do you feel that in your body? Show me with your hands. And wherever that may be, just let, let the energy flow in through, all the way through and out. And that's how the message from the symbol, from the, from the work of art, gets transmitted to the person who's interacting with it. Thank you very much. That's super, Dieter. Thanks. So that's what we do. We don't critique it. We don't go on about brush strokes or any other or color theory. Oh, my God. Color theory. How dare you put that pink next to that orange? <laughs> you know, oh, you're a bad, bad person. Now, we're not critiquing this. We're simply interacting directly with it. Where do you feel it in your body? Show yourself with your hands. If there's some reaction somewhere, soften <laughs> and flow. Let the energy flow in through and out. Let the energy of the work of art transform you. Yeah. That is, um, that is emo, no? Like, yeah, yeah. emo, we... energy in motion. Or energy in action, as I have been calling it in German. Energy in action, which is also nice, and it it could also, it could also be compared to like a homeopathic uh, medication that you take in, like it's an energy, you no, know? and it's more direct than a homeopathic medication. More direct, different. You, yeah, you really feel it in your body. It's not like like so subtle. Mm. It's not subtle. Emo is not subtle. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, that's always something that I like to like to stress with these things. But it depends also. Like when we were talking about the click, like I say, for me, this is literally like, should I make this piece green? No. <laughs> what are you thinking? Are you fucking insane? I got. I get. I am generally speaking extremely reactive, like that. Mm. Emotionally reactive. You know, you show me a sad sort of blue, and I burst out in the tears. And you show me a, a, like a, a, a happy orange purple blend, and I'm like, woohoo! Like I've just injected myself with heroin or something. But, you know, this is both my blessing and my curse in this life. Because when you're that reactive, you often, as a, perhaps, especially as a child, you know, you get endlessly into trouble. And I don't want to bring up gendering here, but the gentlemen have been taught 
to ignore physical mm. sensations, to not have such outbursts. Yeah, to not, uh, this is the same thing as when you give me some horrible liver dish and I'm going like this. I'm, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever give me that again. This is fucking awful. You know, and I, this is be I, not because I'm badly educated, be but because I feel it so strongly. I feel it so strongly. You know, I try and try and try to be like. Eh. <laughs> 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 try, but I, this is it's too strong for me. It causes this mm. it's reaction. So, yeah, and this is this is as I say, it's a blessing and a curse for making art and knowing what's right and what's wrong and when people are lying to you or not. This is brilliant. Societal acceptance, not so much. But it's like also as a gentleman, you have to relearn to listen to these, mm. these responses, yeah. these reactions. <clears throat> I have like uh, I have also strong reactions, but I do something else. I'm not like acted out, but it's more like I dissociate, not like I kind of uh, okay. go yeah. out the window and uh, be somewhere somewhere else or something like yeah. that. That's more right. like my typical reaction right. to uh, strong negative uh, input, energy yeah. input. And and that, but at the same time, then as as you are, you know, dissociating, you're losing connection with the thing. Of course, yes. that's what it's for. It's designed to cut the connection, mm. so you don't have that strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't react by punching people because they gave you really bad soup, which is <laughs> you know, it's not something I like doing. It's just it's just overwhelming. What can I say? Uh, this has always always been the case with me that I've, I just react really really strongly, and people misread that as me being difficult or um, badly educated. God, much education was tried upon me. I promise you this, in the German village in 1960 when I grew up, much education was attempted to make me into a decent person who doesn't spit at Aunt Mary when the soup's not right. <laughs> mm. well, like uh, also to tone you down in a way, like making into the, uh, yeah, like so. Acceptable. Mm. Well, yeah, it didn't work. Um, if anybody tries <laughs> to make this happen with their children who are listening, it really didn't work. It's it's you just can't beat the Sylvia out of the Sylvia. It's one of those one of those things. <laughs> but the click is a, is a wonderful thing. And I am delighted, I'm delighted that you, you particularly have, you know, found a way to, to come bring that back to yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I've, I've like tried this strongly to, um, because I like, I like this and the thought and also the process of making things and um, and then I convinced myself also that this is useful like it's a it's a, a good investment of time and um, because I I know this like when I've made something and this thing stays there yeah. it's kind of a result it's a um, a result that sits in here in the material world and is an object that reminds me of this good time and this um, effect and uh, b continues to have this energy output yes. on me. Yes. And, and <laughs> There's something I always say about modern energy art. You can't see energy work. You can't see it. Well, yeah. we are making it with modern energy art. We are actually making it visible, and we're bringing it into the into the, the physical reality. Make it hard, and create objects that are not going to create more chaos and pain and suffering and hatred and how bad it all was yet again, or how bad it all is, or how angry we are. But we are seeking solutions for this. Mm -hmm. and information and creating objects that are you know bring positive energy into the world 
for a change. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and also what I like, I must say, it's it's not speaking in words. <laughs> Well, that's the magic about it. How can we communicate without words on a different level and the movements, the colors, the shapes, the symbols are a way to do that. This is why I like the original symbol paintings. This is really why I like the original symbol paintings. They are you know, I'm guessing. I'm guessing you can't sell these as well as you can sell something like a happy duck, because they have this aspect of they're not words, and it's not so easy to explain them. Oh, I love that one. You know, mm -hmm. are, I've lost lost the plot there. I've lost, I don't know what I was saying before I said that, but that's the that it's not words that there is other dimensions not just words the world of words is not all there is there are other ways in which to learn to communicate to see to exchange energy there are other ways beyond words and i love that and i love the fact that you can see them when you can't normally see energy yes <clears throat> and there also of a journey really aren't there these lines these symbol lines they are a journey they describe our path at that moment through life i love it and it's also and it's also like doing symbol paintings it has um a nice kind of um um like a simple pattern to it you know like you can recognize them this is a symbol painting yeah. And still, they have a, like a lot of diversity in them, and and there's also <clears throat> lots that one learns. You no, know? like it's uh, always uh, I'm kind of a, uh, I was always on an academic pathway somehow, and um, I kind of um, envied people who had um, like a craft manship like an uh, like a, yeah. a master who showed them like a certain way of um making things <laughs> and yeah. uh, and in a way this is um something um i've kind of engaged something in me that shows me how to make things <laughs> in yeah. this way Yes, <clears throat> and of course, you know, like just sheer, purely practical. You learn about color mixing, you learn about different types of paints, you learn about different types of brushes and pens, different surfaces, you know, how things react with each other, uh, color mixing to the point. It's, it's just, just loads and loads and loads of practical experience at the same time, isn't it? Without mm -hmm. getting in the way, without taking up your time, because you're learning it as you're going along. Mm. So it integrates all nicely and is, is just one of those things. Okay, righty-ho. So we're coming to the end of our chat here about modern energy art, symbol paintings, and the click. So um, I'm going to let you have the last word. What would you like to say to our good people who are listening to us across time and space? Yeah, I would say, like, um, if you can get yourself to make something, in a way like in this way in this artistic way using colors um <clears throat> it has a magic to it it has something that um that is far beyond all what people say about art uh, yeah. and what it is it is um it is magical and it's, it's magical. worth doing it even if you're like i am like 65 or something it um <laughs> it keeps you young no like it's not supposed to be something to be doing in this age <laughs> but uh, you can still do it and um it's a revolutionary act <laughs> it is 
it's magic and you are so so right it is absolutely magical and it reaches the parts of us that nothing else reaches and this is this is why i love it so i, I that's this is why i love it so and why i believe it is an essential part of modern energy it's not something that you tack on as a hobby it is in many ways the wellspring for new ideas, for new approaches, new solutions, different ways of thinking about old problems, all sorts of really magical things. And you end up with a with a lovely little object at the yeah, end of I the I like this one. <laughs> that cheers you up. You know, I want to find my groove. I'm going to work with this some more. I'm going to, going to do some emo. I want to find my groove because when I'm in my groove, I'm really groovy. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay, Dieter, thank you very much for your time and your thoughts on the topic. I super look forward to seeing more of your art as it unfolds and also hearing yeah. stories about probably showing this to others. You could certainly show the young people that you are seeking a further mm. connection with how to do that. Um, it's yeah. Children That's why I'm children pick this up in three seconds flat and no. that's why i wanted to do this not uh, to just ah. i'm going to focus on that when i'm done with the other one and um, yeah. yeah be brilliant i look forward to how it, i mean we're modern energy art is totally in its infancy uh, it has it has some basic techniques and ideas it has a manifesto i've written a manifesto gotta write a manifesto mm. <laughs> uh, but you know it's it's probably in its infancy and I'm, I'm looking forward to more people doing this so we can share what happens with us each because we're different people mm -hmm. and but there is an underlying magic a human magic i think that we can tap into just mm -hmm. get there by different slightly different ways that might be different shapes and different colors Okay, darling, thank you very much for your time. Um, and uh, yeah, let's thank you very much for listening. If you got to the end of this, please remember to like and subscribe. And uh, thank you very much, Dieter. Now uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah, thank you, Sylvia. And uh, thanks, everybody, for listening to this and uh, for your attention. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. Bye for now. <laughs>